It's Sophie Tedmanson here from Vogue Australia. Um, we're at the National Gallery of Australia in Canberra today for the amazing, the opening of the amazing Versailles Treasures from the Palace exhibition. And I have with me Tina Arena, who is the ambassador for the exhibition, and Francis Kajan, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name right, who is a master perfumier. We've had a look through the exhibition, which is amazing. There's 130 um, pieces from Versailles, uh, from the Palace of Versailles, including um, tapestries and paintings and one of the fountains. And we're now in front of um, Marie Antoinette, who is one of the more fascinating characters of the Versailles era. Certainly. Um, so tell me why, um, why, why Marie Antoinette is so fascinating for you. Well, Marie Antoinette was a very fascinating aspect of Versailles full stop. Um, first of all, she wasn't French, mm -hmm. she was Austrian. So the families, obviously, the royal family of Austria and the royal French family, you know, had obviously organised their marriage. They were very young when they met and were in expected, their teens. yes, they were both in their teens and expected to procreate when they didn't even know who they were. <laughs> So it's really interesting to see that the journeys that they went through, the kind of woman that she was, she was, Marie Antoinette was a musician. She composed and she played for a lot of her guests. Um, so to be a female figure in that time, in a world that was very clearly dominated by Louis, the Louis and Gattos, Gans and Cézienne, uh, men with huge personalities that, you know, were beyond the power. They believed that they were gods in many ways. So it's very interesting to see how the role of the woman actually fits into the whole picture. Yes. I find her quite fascinating because she blended in fairly miserably, but she blended <laughs> in. It was hard for her. It, was hard for her. it would have been unbelievably it was difficult. Hard for her. Absolutely.